We're in the business of armoring cars. So generally when we come to do demonstrations like this, we want to show you what our cars will protect you against. So that's generally like a AK-47, R5, R1, etc., and pretty much any handgun. I'm sitting inside a V6 armored Prado. It still runs. Um, it was in a very large accident after it was attacked, but everything is held in place. But because we have an undisclosed location and undisclosed people at our disposal, we are going to show you what it does take to destroy an armored car. Now, the armor on this car is supposed to withstand rounds from an AK-47, an R5, and even an R1. Uh, it's also got blast protection underneath against two grenades, but we're not using grenades today. So as good as the fit and finish and all the luxury features that still work are integral to what we do when we build a car, you still want to know how tough it is. Effectively, what we're trying to do is take Cinderella, turn her into Hulk, and make her still look like Cinderella. So we want to find out just how much Hulk is inside. So that was a 338 and the screen doesn't look like it penetrated. So um, our dear undisclosed faceless friends are now going to step up their game a bit with some armor piercing rounds. I think they are now after chaos and carnage. <laughs> Don't hit anything. Ah! Yo! No penetration through the windscreen, which is understandable because well, as soon as you add an angle, you're basically lengthening the amount of glass that the bullet's got to go through. So our trusty friends are not satisfied and they want to put holes in things. So we're going to shoot from a side angle now, 90 degrees, into the side windows with armor piercing rounds. Let's see what happens. Yes! Okay, so post-mortem, 338 did go through, but was caught by the overlap on the inside. Very lucky. So not a kill shot, but it will definitely get through. This is what we're supposed to be stopping. It's an SS-109, which is a 556 round that just travels a little faster, slightly heavier. No penetration. That was a penetration round from a 338 armor piercing. I'll show you what the other side looks like. Not pretty. And 762, no penetration. Okay, let's have a quick look on the other side. That's the difference between a normal round and an armor piercing round. That's the damage from inside the car. That's where the bullets come out. But we're not happy. We want to see some more damage and flame and stuff flying. So we're going to bring out big guns. So now they want to shoot the back of the car, but because we destroyed the engine and well, pretty much everything else, we've got to use our trusty six by six to put it into place. Okay, so this is now a I hope that makes it mix. Everything's been very clinical so far. It's like surgical. I want to see X murderer. This is too much fun. <laughs> okay, we're getting warmer. Okay, so five rounds from the in the glass, all of them through. Three rounds in the bulkhead, two penetrations. Armor piercing does what it's supposed to. I can't say I'm not a little disappointed. Like we want to see something spectacular. So as it would happen when you put a bunch of boys together with guns, there's a little bit of competition now. So we said, we brought a gun too.
they've promised us a big bang now. Like, big. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! Where's this uh, fire stuff? So we thought of finding we buy cars. So they tell us that now we're going to send the product to heaven. Um, I can't tell you what we're going to use. Apparently it's going to be quite spectacular. Um, everything is set and ready to go. So um, let's do it. Um, where's my phone? My phone's in the product.